In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix that upper back pain you get when lifting. Get up and get down, get up and get down. Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by the YouTube channel. Now, a lot of times people will develop that mid and upper back pain because of a problem in thoracic spine mobility and control. So today, let's start off by talking about how to screen for that problem and then a couple ways that you can implement some fixes. So let's jump up here on the bed. So I'm gonna show you to start, this is how you screen for thoracic spine mobility. Darren's gonna assume a kneeling position with his elbow in between his knees. He's gonna take his low, uh, or his hand and put it on his low back. Now in this position, he's gonna start off in this even setup and then he's going to rotate as far as he can one way, trying to keep his shoulder down on this side. And then he's going to do the same thing on the other side. Now, as the treating practitioner, our goal is to see if there is a significant difference in how it feels for him. So if he can go a lot on one side, but maybe only a little bit on the other side, and it feels just stiff and achy, it doesn't want to move and are open on one side, that shows us that there's an imbalance that needs to be addressed. Now, if you look at the textbooks, you'll see a lot of people should be able to go about that 45 degree opening on up. In my experience, working with a lot of athletes, particularly Olympic weightlifters and uh, CrossFitters, I can see a ton of range of motion in this position because a lot of athletes have a lot of hypermobility to be able to get into the extreme positions for Olympic lifting. What we're looking for is not whether or not you hit that mark, but whether or not you have symmetrical mobility or as much symmetrical uh, mobility as possible. So let's jump on up. Let's say you had a side to side difference. Here's what you do. I'm gonna have Darren take a seat right here. He's going to put this in between the knees. He's gonna hold this on his back. This is called the thoracic spine rotation and side bend mobility exercise. And it's one of my favorites for improving that mobility of the mid and upper back. In this position, he's going to hold the foam roller between the knees to sort of help lock in the low back and pelvis region so it doesn't move because we want to try to make most of the motion occur at that upper back region. From here, he's going to rotate as far as he can one way. He's going to hit that end range eventually and he's going to use his mid back as the fulcrum to then side bend as far as he can. He'll feel a light stretch in that mid back, come back up. Now from here, he's going to find he has a little bit more motion he can go into. From here again, fulcrum side bend over, and then back up, and then one more time. So one more rotation, side bend, nice deep breath out, and then come back. So this whole sequence, he's going to go through maybe three to five times before retesting to see if we've cleared up that asymmetry. So let's do this one more time. One of the goals with this is to maintain, again, that hold on the foam roller so we don't get as much uh, motion coming from the low back and to make sure that we're breathing well with this. When you get over to the side, as you side bend, whew, relax out. Try not to uh, maintain a ton of tension in that upper back. I know this can be difficult to get into some of those end ranges, but breathing is very important for accessing those full ranges. Very good. So if you are done with that, we'll set that on the ground. We would then retest to see if he got improved mobility. The second thing that I love to do is to now add in a little bit of resistance, a little bit of stability work and control work for that mid back once we've gotten a lot of mobility work done. So here's how you're gonna do that. We're gonna take this, set this off to the side. Okay. So Darren, let's assume that kneeling position on the ground. And I want you to grab that band with your left hand. All right, very good. So in this position, he's set up in that same kneeling position that he was in before whenever we were testing. This is called the quadruped downward rotation thoracic spine mobility. So in this position right here, he's going to allow the band to pull him down in this rotational pattern towards the attachment. As he goes down, he's gonna feel a really good stretch across his mid and upper back. He's gonna hold that for a couple seconds, taking some deep breaths in and out. I like to hold this for about three to five seconds. Then from here, he's going to pull back, he's going to retract his shoulder blade, and he's gonna stiffen his core. And he's gonna hold this position for about three to five seconds. So this drill allows us to work both parts of the spectrum of mobility, motion, 
but then also the control when he comes back to stiffen the core so we have a lot of both parts stability and mobility within the same drill. So this is an excellent drill for a lot of people who are dealing with upper back issues. So again, he's going to let that band assist and pull into more rotation, holding for a couple seconds before then pulling back, retract the shoulder blades, squeeze the core. The thing about the mid back is that it's very difficult sometimes to measure pure extension because there's so many small joints that are making up the complexity, which is the thoracic spine. But we can understand if we have a different side to side by looking at rotational capabilities. And if we find that a balanced side to side and then tackle it with something like this and the other drill, it allows us to enhance extension because the same mechanics of the thoracic spine that allow for rotation side to side also allow for extension. So by enhancing rotation, we can often allow for more thoracic spine extension, which is what you need whenever you're getting into a press, a jerk, a snatch overhead, uh, a handstand, or even for a lot of people getting into just a good back squat position, we need sufficient thoracic spine extension. So something like this, I would have Darren maybe do 10 reps for five second holds in each position before coming back. So that is it for today's video. Again, one of the main reasons for a lot of people who are developing that mid and upper back pain is because of an issue in thoracic spine rotation and also the control stability of that mid back. So first we're going to um, assess with the um, quadruped rotational assessment. Then we're going to attack your mobility and then also add in a little stability drill at the end. So I hope you guys liked today's video. If you're still having a lot of mid back pain, once you're done with all these drills, please go see a practitioner that understands how to do a proper evaluation and screen so that we can uncover the exact why behind the issue. Uh, if you guys have any questions about mid and upper back pain, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you're enjoying all the videos that I'm putting out here at Squat University, please subscribe to my channel and uh, share all the videos with your friends and family. Until next time, guys, happy squatting. They say that energy flows where attention goes, so I pay no mind. Why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching so caught up in their egos? These people have lost.